Yo, 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 everybody. That's pretty amazing. We're going to be getting retrievers. I hope they're going to make bird hunting a little bit more, uh, like, I guess less of a hassle, really. Because right now, as shown in today's video, like, a lot of the times, that is bighorn sheep. That is not bears. We need to change the time. But as I was saying, a lot of the times, like in today's video, when I'm hunting birds, like any type of waterfowl, really, I always spook stuff off by going out and claiming them. So it's going to be so nice to have it bring them to me instead of having to just wait it out and uh, wait till I've finished like hunting all of them and don't see anything else to go out and grab the, uh, what's it called? The birds. It's going to be so nice to see how that works out. Really hoping that it's going to be really, really good. Okay. We're going to have to main menu probably to get those bears in there. Nice, Metal Man. Nice. I'd uh, probably uh, expired, Metal Man. Likely expired as they're 30 days only. Yo, Tony. What's up, dude? Hey, TTK. How are y'all doing? I did some bear grinding last night, so we're now 668 kills into the grind. Hopefully, this beast will be close. Really hoping that today will be the day. Because we only got a couple days left of this uh, seven day bear grind. So we will see what we can pull off in the last few days. All right, later, TTK. Thank you for dropping in, man. Appreciate it as always, TTK. What is the best map? Uh, it's going to depend on who you talk to, like different people, like different maps. Really comes down to what map has the most animals that you like and, you know, which map you think is visually the best looking. My personal favorite, that's a level two. My personal favorite is Emerald Coast, the Australia map. I feel like it's just so well made. It's got a lot of really good animals on it and it's just a lot of fun overall. That was awful shooting to start the day. We'd love to see it. I have really been just off my mark recently. Like every time that we've just started to stream up, I miss shots for like the first 20 minutes and then I get back into my groove. That's what all that arc has done, man. All that arc time I've been putting in. I'm losing my touch here. Nate, what's up, dude? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, West uh, Doge. That's unfortunate, man. That sucks, dude. No, it's uh, it's showing from the last one, Turtle. Sometimes with YouTube, if you watch a video and then like go straight to another one, it'll show you the stats from the previous one. It's a weird little YouTube bug. Yeah, Nate, it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. And they announced, like, the time frame the new wipe would be. They said it's going to be a New Year's wipe. So it's going to be, like, end of December. So we've got, like, a month and a half till the Tarkov wipe. Which is still a pretty good amount of time, to be honest. Like, it kind of shocked me they dropped that much stuff that far away from wipe. But it's going to be fun to mess around with it in raid. We're thinking about doing a little bit of Tarkov tomorrow morning. Yeah, for sure, Nate, for sure. Because that's going to be like a month after the dog's release approximately. So should give us plenty of time to get all the Call of the Wild stuff out of the way and then get ready for Tarkov. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way mountain lions ruining the day. <laughs> Always the mountain lions. Always the mountain lions, bro. Guessing we're probably not getting a great one. Well, the thing is, like, they never announce the other stuff coming with the DLC until it actually drops. Or until it's, like, very close to dropping. So it's likely that we'll learn more about the update later. So as of now, we have no indicators that we will or will not get a great one. 
Because this is this is pretty par for the course. They never announce the extra stuff. They only announce like the DLC early. They announce the DLC and then like the following weeks they show stuff off in live stream and talk about other things that are coming with the update. We got two weeks until this update drops, so my guess would be the uh, EW stream that they're doing Thursday is probably going to show off the dogs. And then I would imagine the next week they'll probably show off some of the other stuff coming with the update, if there is other stuff coming with the update. That would be my prediction. Yeah, like there's still a decent chance of a great one and other stuff coming with the update too, because they haven't really talked about other things. They've just talked about the dog. And very minimally at that. There hasn't been a lot uh, said about it yet. Kind of just what we got from the Steam page and then the little trailer they released. They haven't actually, like, showcased anything, really. So I'm interested to see how it's going to be. Something special on the stream on Thursday. Yeah, I'm curious if they're just referring to the Retrievers. Because that would be special, but yeah, if they dropped the trailer, why would they say, why would they just say something special on the Thursday stream? It, it is a little bit interesting. I wonder if they're going to show off like the entire update in one stream. My prediction though would be that they're probably going to show off the dog this next stream because they just announced the DLC. I feel like it would make sense to show it off. <laughs> Sounds about right, Metal. Oh, nice, uh, turtle. That's awesome, dude. Pulling a scarecrow, I see. Now, the question is, did you catch them in front of Brobra? Because that would just make it so much better. That would just make it that much sweeter. What map is this? This is Silver Ridge Peaks. Good old Silver Ridge. Unfortunately not. Ah, unfortunate, man. Yeah, Rev is going to be great with Retrievers. It's going to be so nice. Yeah, I'm excited for the next new map as well. It's unfortunate we got to wait till next year, but I'm very hopeful that it's going to be insane because of that. Hey, Ultra, how's it going, dude? Play SnowRunner? Probably not. I don't really have time for other games at the moment. I'm already playing like four different games. And I barely have time for like the two uh the two secondary games there. Unga, thank you so much for the four months, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Uh they're very rare, uh Leroy. Very tough to get. Nice, Unga. That's awesome, man. Uh, I don't know, ghouls. I mean, I've had a lot of diamond kudu from back when they used to have a really OP feed zone. Or no, it was a resting zone. They used to have an overpowered resting zone where you would find like a hundred kudu at a time. So I was able to get quite a few of those diamonds. So I don't know where I would rate that pain. I might be a little bit biased because of the fact that I, I've seen so many of those. If I were to find it right now and I had never had one before, though, I'd say it'd be pretty high because you don't see them that often nowadays. Two sevens. Perfect. Love to see it. So what are you guys most excited for with the new dog? What do you think is the number one thing that you are most excited for out of everything that we know about them because there's a lot of juicy little details that uh, steam post had yeah goose hunting is going to be fun with him for sure just retrieving animals in general yeah yeah that's that's going to be a major major positive hey lone wolf how's it going man Where's the other one? There he is. Fetching game for us? Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be nice if you just want to sit in the blind and not move. 
You have one in real life? Nice, Brooks. Nice. Love to see it. It's a fun game, uh, Dominic. It's a fun game. What maps did you use for your first hunt? So, when you first buy the game, if you don't buy any of the DLC maps, you will have Leighton Lakes and Hirschfelden. Definitely go with Leighton Lakes out of those two because Leighton Lakes is a lot easier to learn than Hirschfelden is. And, my personal opinion, it's got better animals too. But it's a lot easier to get started on than Hirsch. Is the game worth it on PC? Oh, definitely. It's worth it on all platforms. Like any of the platforms you buy it on, it's pretty much the same. There we go. Nice little level seven. Hey, Jeremiah, I'm doing good, man. Hope you're doing good as well. Moose grinds are painful. Yeah, they are. They are very painful. No, bro. Not cool. Can't just be doing that to me. Can't just be popping up like that. So rude, man. Forestry, thank you for the eight months, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. That's crazy, dude. Eight months as a legendary crow is just wild. That is absolutely freaking crazy, dude. You know, being a member for eight months is wild enough, but eight months as a legendary crow is pretty insane. I think you might be the longest running legendary crow we have. One of them, at least. You're definitely one of the longest running uh, legendary crows. I was very happy, Cody. You don't got to repeat the same message that much, though, man. Give me some time to see it the first time. Like, I see four of the same message and, like, they haven't even gone off the screen yet. It, give me a few seconds to respond, dude. There's 173 people in here. I can't possibly see every message instantly. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? Are you here to bring the bear luck to me? Your Silver Ridge animal population is so low in the opinions. You're probably just not looking in the right spots. Like, that's really all it comes down to is you're either just not looking in the right places or you're not waiting long enough for them to show up to their zones or you've uh, deleted a lot of the zones so they've moved. Like, there's, there's a lot of things that can cause it. Your animals are always there, though. Nobody has less animals than another person. The only thing that changes is the locations that they're at and sometimes like how quickly they make it to their zones. But everybody has like the same number of animals. Just a matter of getting out there and finding them. Hey Sam, what's up dude? You're on a business trip. Nice. Nice. Um, I have no clue, Metal Man. No clue. I've only ever used PayPal for it. Imagine a great one, Coyote or Mallard. Mallard could be kind of interesting. I, I'll be honest, I would not want a Coyote just because of how ridiculously tough it would be to hunt them. Oh, that's fine, Forestry. Like I was saying, eight months as one is crazy enough. And as I always say, life comes first. Labs to retrieve my bears. Yes, yes. We've got labs to retrieve our bears now. I can have my uh, my retriever go recover myself a uh, a great one bear. Did you imagine how hilarious that would be? A retriever just like dragging a bear by its ear back to your blind? <laughs> Takes him like a, a full 30 minutes to get it there, but he eventually does it. And he's just like so happy once he does. That'd be great. <laughs> Do 
Two more down. We're now 691 kills on the grind. Yeah, Sam. I am curious how big of an animal they can bring back. Like, is it just going to be birds and rabbits? Or, like, for example, could it drag a raccoon dog back to you? That'd be kind of interesting. Like, can it can it bring me a raccoon by the tail? These These are things I need to know. Hope they can retrieve foxes. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I'm not sure, uh, Pix. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever heard of a bush deer. Lab to retrieve my crocs and gators. Perfect. That is exactly what we need. Can I, like, have a pet T-Rex to retrieve all of my, uh, Banting? That'd be lovely. <laughs> just picks up the Banting by the ma by its mouth and just drops it at me. What's my favorite animal? I would say if we're taking a look at, like, all of the animals in the game, probably the Rusa deer. I really enjoy hunting them. Rusa deer are definitely up there. And then so are the fallow deer and the white-tailed deer. Bro, what are you doing? Taking 10 years to get down here. Look at him just running in here with his stubby little legs. Where'd he go? There he is. Question is, do we wait him out? I vote no. That's going to take forever. Least favorite great one? I would say least favorite is probably red deer just because there's barely any variation to them. Red deer have one fur type and four racks, but two of them look pretty much identical to the other two. So it's like, there's really not too much variation for them, sadly. If there was more variation, they definitely wouldn't be last, but... For that reason, they're my least favorite. Hopefully one day we'll get a rework to the uh, Great One Red Deer. Ollie, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated, man. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, it is interesting, Zach. Yeah, I'd like to see them change that in the future. It'd be nice if they did a bit of an overhaul to, like, all the animals and their classes and, like, all the weapons and the classes that they can shoot. It'd be really nice if they kind of went through and tweaked all that. Eight and a seven. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the moose. The moose is the most stunning great one in the game, in my opinion. Just looks so good. So many different fur types and rack variations, and they all look incredible. Level 8 right there. Got a Lucistic Widgeon while grinding Lions today. One of my best trophies yet. That is awesome, dude. The leucistic uh, waterfowl species look really good. They are really, really good. And I got a feeling a lot of us are going to be getting a lot of those the second that retriever releases because we're going to be hunting a lot of birds. I'm going to be going straight over to Rev, straight over to uh, New England and hunting some waterfowl. Because, you know, that's one of the things New England is actually pretty great for is waterfowl. So it's very likely we'll see some hunts like that in the future. Possibly a widgeon hunt on Verhonga as well, because they're quite a bit of fun over there. And there's so many of them. Mythical. Lots of like sevens and eights this run. 
Pro willingly going to New England? I know, right? The only time I'll go there is for birds and small game. That's it. That's the only time you'll see me on New England. Oh, nice, Sam. Yeah, that should be fun. I haven't gone to Hirsch for geese in so long. It's been literally like a year plus, I think. I haven't been there since they reworked the waterfowl. Oh, could you imagine ep epic? Im a magic? I can't even speak. Can you imagine Epic Gamer? That'd be crazy. A magic? What type of English am I speaking? None. That's the answer. Yeah, that can happen, uh, Noisy. You go through dry streaks all the time. I go through dry streaks all the time as well. Like, I'll be getting a diamond every 10 kills for like 200 kills. And then out of nowhere, I'll have a dry streak where I don't get a diamond for like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 kills, you know? HM kind of can like fluctuate in how well it's working. Nobody knows why. Happens like even when you're not doing HM too, like sometimes you'll be getting a diamond every 100 kills and then suddenly you go 500 kills with nothing and then out of nowhere you get like three diamonds and 100 kills, like things change. Things change from time to time and nobody quite knows why. All right, let's buy some ammo. It's everybody's favorite part of the stream, the ammo purchasing simulator. If you're uh, sensitive to flashing things, like if you get seizures or anything like, anything like that, be sure to look away from the screen in three, two, one. And now we buy ammo. How to get that color on your gun. This is one of the skins from the uh, Halloween skin pack they did. It's no longer obtainable as they stopped the event that was giving it out. Hey, Benny, how's it going, man? Yeah, this game would be crazy in VR. It would. Okay, good enough. Good enough. My eyes hurt after that. <laughs> Like to imagine there's like thousands of bullets in that crate. There would have to be with how much we purchase. There would have to be thousands. Nothing. Bears are being slow today, man. They're being really weird. Hey, go in full brightness. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing here. Yeah, they're being a little bit, uh, a little bit inconsistent and weird. Two thousand plus fallow kills with no great ones, but a Mela and a Piebald super rare. Hey, not bad. What the? What the? They did it again. Stop. Why does it do that? It's only at this lake and the next lake. It's so strange, man. It's so strange. They just pop up out of nowhere like it's nothing. Boom. Uh, no, underdog, I don't. I probably should. Because my vision's definitely not perfect, but it's good enough to where I haven't really needed them as, like, a necessity. But I probably should get some at some point. At least for while I'm, uh... At least for while I'm recording and streaming. What are all the diamonds I'm missing? I'll be honest, Ronnie. I couldn't even name them all off right now. It's a lot of like birds and stuff that were released with new with a uh, Revontuli and after, and then like a couple random things like Mustier. I I'd, I'd have to like dig through everything to find out exactly. Wonder where that four that was here went. 
Oh, there's a six. Wait, was there another? I knew it. I knew I saw another. And another. And another. Wait, no. And yes, and another. <laughs> Ugh, we missed a lot of them. Well, we missed two, technically. Let's see, we killed one, two... Yeah, we killed three, I think. I think we killed three of those. There was too many of them! I couldn't take them all! Hate to see it. Yeah, it looks like we killed three. That's the seven. To do a roe deer grind? I might at some point. I've already got like a lot of uh, trophy roe deer though. So I don't know how soon we'll do a roe deer grind. Love it in the thumbnail. The retriever is the same size as a 500 plus pound bear. I know, right? Gotta, gotta blow them up so they are visible nicely on the thumbnail, you know? Nothing there. Vampire kangaroo grind. Yes. Yes, definitely. I do need to get some trophy kangaroos still. I only have a diamond. I have like a couple of diamonds. I don't have any of the rares on the live build. I got one rare in early access, but at that point we couldn't keep early access stuff. So we weren't able to keep it, sadly. Nice. Nice, Nicole. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty much turtle. How would you extreme herd management for black bear? Um, let's see. If you want to go super extreme, you would only keep threes and below. And you would only keep like these top zones up here. Like these top lakes up here would be the only ones where you hunt. Like you would keep these as your shootable lakes and then everything else you would manage down to level threes and below. If you're going for extreme, extreme HM. I didn't go quite that route. I'm hunting like the top left, like the six lakes in the top left. But I kept four and below on the rest of the map. And like a couple fives here and there. But yeah, if you want to go extreme extreme, you would definitely need to just leave threes and below. Mr. Lonely, thank you for the sleep. Uh, sleep? 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 I can't speak. The super chat. I almost said the sleeper chat. What are the odds to get no diamonds but two great ones with about 300 kills in a grind? That is very rare. That's like unheard of levels of rare. That's crazy, dude. That's actually really crazy. Thank you for the uh, super chat, dude. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody having that happen. Now, I've heard of people getting one great one before a diamond, but never two. Two great ones and no diamond is unheard of. That's that's crazy. There we go. Think Crow needs more sleep? I don't get to sleep. It's uh, it's it's news time, you know. We had to get uh, that video made for the dog. We had to. Get a bunch of thumbnail stuff done for today's streams. Like, I got too much work to do to sleep extra. Got two diamond moose setting up. Moose grind. 289.78 and 299.63. Nice, dude. Nice. 250 white tails, zero rares, four diamonds, one great one. That's pretty good uh, stats right there for a grind. That's pretty good. 
Love those quick grinds, man. Okay, nothing new here. No respawns there right now. Later, Charles. Moose grind is like unfair. It gives me 10 rares and only one five. That is ridiculous, dude. That is actually insane. That's a lot of rares with only one diamond. That's actually pretty ridiculous. You should try to get the Quattro Kalinas Wolves. I've already got all of them. I have all of them from before I did YouTube. Maybe I could do like a another account playthrough where I do like missions and stuff, but that'd be the only way that I could go back and get those. Is I'd have to use a different account. Maybe, Zacky. Maybe. But do you really need any more luck, Zacky? You've got like what, 12 bears? <laughs> 12 bears and like half the kills that I've got too? I think you've had the luck, dude. I think you've had the luck. Just not for uh, Whitetail, you know? Gonna have a great one in the next 10 minutes, I'm calling it. That would be quite nice. Legendary right there. Let's go. Level 9 Legendary Berry. Our first level 9 of the day. Think we sunk a good shot into him. Did not hit that one well. But we hit it three times, so maybe that'll make up for the bad shots. We have exactly 7 11 kills. Fantastic. It has been dry on the nines today, for sure. But usually I go through a streak of bad luck and then I pick it up with a bunch of good luck. So we'll see. That's kind of been the pattern with the bears for me. Is I'll have a few runs in a row where there's just nines everywhere. And then I'll go a few runs without a nine. Come on, little bears. They, they just love to die slowly. Hey, Drew. What's up, dude? Is console or PC better? It's up to personal preference of whichever you prefer, really. If you like playing on console more, get it on console. If you like PC more, get it on PC. Smell a weird scent of a great one in 250 kills? Nah, it's bears. There's no way. Yeah, you're probably right on that. There's no way. We'll see, though. I just keep thinking to myself, there's no way three grinds in a row we get a long grind. First grind was 8,300. Second was 3,791. There's no way number three is longer than 3,791. Right? Right? There's no way that we get three bad grinds in a row. 1.5k? I'd say that's kind of likely. That seems pretty... Seems like an average one. Average if you're not Scarecrow. And that is a diamond. Wow, that's low scoring for max weight. I think that's the lowest scoring max weight I've ever had. I've had a max weight score like 23.83 or 23.82, but I don't think I've had one score 23.80. That score is really low for being max weight. That's crazy. But it's our first diamond of the day, so either way... I don't even care. We got a diamond finally. Did this guy die quickly? Right there. Okay. What animals are in the SRP missions? I'll be honest. I don't know. I've never done the SRP missions. They're one of the few maps I've not done missions on. 
Also, how's it going, Johnny? Are you ready for Tackle Tuesday? If you guys uh, did not know, we're doing an angler stream later tonight. Likely we'll transition from this into angler. I don't think I'm going to stop in between. I think we're just going to stream for like five hours straight. We'll see. We will see. Actually, it'd be closer to six hours now that I think of it. Most recent grind on Whitetail was 118 kills. That's a crazy fast grind. So I've grinded for 29 Great One Whitetail. And I've only had, I think, one grind be under 150 kills. I think only one of them was sub 150. All the others took longer than that. Oh, nice, Spicy. That's awesome, man. Congrats, dude. That is awesome, man. Hopefully it was one of the combos that you like. And by cluster rack, are you talking like the big non-typical rack? I think 269 would be like the score that that would do. Or are you talking about quad paddle? You might be talking about quad paddle now that I think of it. Yeah, I think that would be quad paddle. Oh, really, Johnny? Ooh. <laughs> Fun times. Fun times, man. We have not had a male bear here in a while, which makes me think that maybe it's down here at these two lakes. Uh, let's do a quick little peek over here and just see. Got 70 bucks though? Hey, all worth it in the end then. All right, later, Dominic. Thank you for dropping in. A lot of people call the non-tip cluster for moose. That's actually the first time I've seen it, surprisingly. It was the non-tip? Gotcha, okay. Yeah, the only thing I hear people call that is big rack and the non and the big non-typical. I've never heard it referred to as cluster. Which is kind of surprising because like I keep I usually am in the like fabled ones chat, like scanning through there, just trying to see what people are getting. Quite often. So I'm kind of surprised I've never seen it called that. <laughs> oh man, Sam, you're going to hate me for one of my favorite things with uh, mac and cheese. Then I think mine's a little bit more like normal, maybe. Have you ever had like barbecued pork in mac and cheese? It is the most insane thing ever. They sell like these, uh, what are they called? Like those Marie Callender meals, right? And one of them is like barbecue pork and mac and cheese. And it is literally the greatest mac and cheese that you could get like purchased from a store. If you're looking for something like pre-made, holy crap. It's made it so like I've started like anytime I'm having like mac and cheese and pork, I'll mix it together because it's just so good. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese is my favorite. It's so good. Like, yeah, like any any of those types of meat, like chicken, pork, beef. I imagine, yeah, all of that's good in macaroni. My wife just made me some, uh, some like hamburger mac and cheese today, and holy crap, it was so good. So, so good. Do I do duck hunts? I did one in today's video. And whenever this new dog releases, I will likely do quite a few more. It sent 2x on my end as well, Zach. Yeah, I thought you were spamming to try and get me to see it. <laughs> there we go. Three bears down.
Nice, Death, that's awesome, dude. No, the Retrievers don't release tonight. The 28th is when they release. Where'd you come from? Beautiful. What's my strategy for making sure I've got all my drinking zones? Just repeatedly going over the same areas multiple times from different angles and at different times in their drink time. Like, I'll go through the same area probably like four, five, six different times, just making sure that I haven't missed anything and hunting stuff as I go. Like on Leighton Lakes, I will, when I was looking for my whitetail, I went up the, I, I'd set the time to the beginning of their drink time. I would run up the river on the left side of the map and check for zones. I'd walk on the left side of that river as well. Check for all the zones. I'd go clear to the top, reset the time, and then go back downwards the river in the opposite direction and on the opposite side of it. Just to make sure that I'm covering everything and then, you know, throughout the time of grinding whitetail, I'd periodically go check for more zones in those same areas. It takes a long time, but it's the best way to be like super thorough with it and make sure you're not missing anything. Two mythicals. We're seeing lots of mythicals. I got a feeling we're going to start getting more nines now because we're seeing a lot of high levels in general. A lot more uh, sevens, a lot more eights. We did have that one nine, so hoping that this means we're going to see a lot more big males showing up. November 28th, uh, death is when it's coming to the game. September has already passed, so it's not going to be in September. Mythical right there, and then we got this mythical here. Then a little level four. Yeah, the second mythical got smoked. Yeah, definitely Arcadia. No, no problem, man. Always happy to help. Haven't had a rare white tail in 3,000 kills. Any idea why? Or is it just luck? It just luck, man. Sometimes you just hit bad luck streaks. I've gone 1,500 without a rare white tail before. It's not normal to go that long, but it does happen from time to time. What day is today? The 14th. So it's 14 days until the brand new uh, dog DLC. For the Labrador Retriever. Pretty exciting stuff. And uh, supposedly, in two days, we're going to get an EW stream that's going to show off some stuff. They didn't specify what, they just said something special. And then had like a, a paw emote at the end of it. So I'm assuming they're going to show off the dog. Um, other people are speculating maybe they'll show off some of the other stuff that's coming with the update. If it's uh, got more to it than just a dog. Another mythical. Love to freaking see it. Seven hundred and twenty kills on the grind. Hey, Amos, how's it going? How hard is it to grind bears? They're probably the toughest great one species to grind. Not easy at all in terms of like, uh, Getting the grind going. Once you get the grind going, they become very easy. But it takes a lot of setup to get to that point, typically. Bears are very weird in that matter. Like, in that regard, they're very strange. Because they're really tough to start with, and then they get really easy once you got used to your bears and have figured out like where all of them are, where their respawns go, things like that. A tough grind that can be made easy if you uh, stick to it long enough. Nice, Daniel. That's awesome, dude. 
What's a good way to get money? There's a lot of ways. Um, bears actually give a crap load of money, but they take a long time to set up for, and, you know, not everybody's got all the tents and stuff to set up for a bear grind. So I don't really, I wouldn't recommend bears as good as they are. One of my favorite ways to make money on my uh, no DLC account playthrough is I go onto multiplayer and I hunt Rusadir in the top left of the map. Because the Rusadir give like 15 to 1700 ash for just one buck. Or is a Rusa a stag? I think Rusa is a stag. Yeah, Rusa stags. That sounds more accurate. They give a lot of money. Crocodiles give a fantastic amount of money as well. Red deer are also still a phenomenal way to make money. And for any of those species, be sure to look up guides online. There's tons of creators that make guides on different species, on where you can find them, best guns to use, best maps to hunt them on, best ways to hunt them. I've even got some myself. Essentially, like the... Like, short way to put it is, if you're a grinder in Call of the Wild, you're going to have a lot more money than if you're not a grinder. Because grinding anything, regardless of the species, is going to build up a lot of money over time. So if you really want to make a lot of money in the game, it doesn't even really matter what species you go with. Just set up... Set up for a species and try to make it the most efficient and fast grind you possibly can. The more efficient it is, the faster it is, the more money you're going to make in a shorter amount of time. Like you could even uh, set up for collared peccary like I did on my rancho and make so much money so fast because they're in such a, a small part of the map. You could dedicate like a full 16 tents to all the different peccary lakes and be able to hunt literally every single group of colored peccary. So at the end of the day, it's just, you know, it just comes down to getting really good at hunting a specific species and you can make a ton of money. Even if that species doesn't necessarily give the most money out of all of them. Ah, floater. We'll get him next run. Honestly, I think that might actually be one of the biggest things that a lot of people don't take into account is like having an efficient setup can be a game changer in making a ton of money in the game. Because like if I'm hunting red deer, but I'm not actually like using tents to place their zones and I'm just like running the river to hunt them, you know, it's going to be five minutes between like herds that I get to and I'll only get like two kills and you know, if you've got tents set up all, at all of them, you could probably kill, like, five times as many animals in the same amount of time. So that's really one of the biggest factors. Boom. What species is the easiest to grind for great one? Probably fallow deer. Fallow deer are quite easy compared to some of the others. The fallow deer. There's a mythical. So many mythical bears. What's up with this? It's just a mythical party over here. Which I'm all for. Love the big males.
completely past that bear. I'm trying to like uh, skim through the chat while I uh, flame it. How many zones should I have for late moose herd management? It's not about how many zones you have, it's about how many you're killing in those zones. The more moose you can be killing in a lesser amount of zones, the more efficient your grind's gonna be. There's a three. For example, like, if I'm hunting ten zones but I'm only shooting one male moose from each of them, that's gonna be way slower than if I'm hunting ten zones that have two male moose in them for me to shoot. Because that doubles the amount that you can get per zone. Just like when I'm hunting whitetail deer, I would much rather set up in an area where I can hunt two zones from two tents instead of one zone from two tents. Like, that's why you see a lot of my zones on Layton will be set up similar to this right here where I've got two zones across from each other and there's a tent on each zone. It's all about just like making the most out of your setup. And like, for example, uh, setting up one tent and hunting two zones from it and then like walking up to those zones is going to be way slower than hunting two zones and then having a tent set up on both of them like this right here. And then you can just fast travel over and claim them immediately and then you can turn around and shoot the ones that are at the other zone across from them where your other tent is. Like little things like that, all that stuff combined just makes the grind a lot more efficient and in turn will make it so you kill animals faster make money faster uh, and you know therefore get great ones faster as well because you're killing animals quicker you won't get great ones faster kill count wise but in time spent wise it will be it's going good pur purple hurts it's going good man we need to reset the time though Um, I don't like them, Riley. I don't like them, never have, never will. There's too many ways in the game, like too many legitimate ways in the game that you can make money that I don't see a need to do anything like that. And I don't see why anybody would when you can make, I mean, I literally make like 100k every couple hours hunting bears just because they, they make so much money and they're relatively easy to hunt once you get set up for them. So I, I'll never see the need for anybody to cheat money in. Makes no sense to me. I mean, just from this bear grind, since we started the seven day uh, bear grind uh, video recording, I've already made like close to a million just from hunting like 150 bears a day or 200 bears a day. Because, I mean, I messed up that shot on a low-level bear, and I still got 990 cash. Bears are phenomenal for it. Uh, it's hard to explain quickly, Justin. Let me, let me think of the best way I can explain it. A lot of it comes down to just getting familiar with your map. Getting familiar with where all your zones are. Paying attention to what zones are the best zones and which ones are not as good. Like, pay attention to all the little things when you're hunting a, uh, a herd. Like, do they get their respawns quickly? Do they get them consistently? Do they show up to their drink zone on time? Or are they late quite often? Uh, there, you know, there's a lot of little factors that you gotta pay attention to to figure out what's gonna be your most efficient zones to hunt. And then another thing like zone placement, like where they're located on your map, is a massive factor as well. And so then at that point, it's just a matter of like picking through all your zones, figuring out which ones are the best for you to hunt, which ones you can hunt the fastest, and then, you know, just adjusting your setup to try to get to be as quick as you can. A lot of it comes down to trial and error, just figuring out what's the best for you.
What map is this? This is Silver Ridge Peaks. Crash after I shot my second great one, Whitetail. Any way that I can get him back? Uh, no. Sadly, no. Which is why I always recommend that if you get a great one to spawn, back up your save file immediately. That way, if the game does crash after you shoot it, you can at least go back to that older save and get a second chance without the possibility or uh, to make up for the game crashing. I feel like Layton never had many bears, uh, USSR. I don't think it ever had any, or it ever had many, to be honest. Layton was always a lackluster bear map. I think really people just don't look for them anymore. So it feels like there's less. Because, you know, back in the old days, it was the only map for them. And I think, I think back then they had a smaller home range as well. Now they're spread across the entire map, so they're just more spread out. Level seven, level seven. Do I have a max weight great one whitetail? I don't know. I don't have any max weight great ones. I have a max scoring great one bear, but it was just like barely below max weight. That's the closest I've got to like a perfect max weight max score animal for uh, great ones. But never got a max weight great one whitetail. I'd love to get one though. It'd be cool. Like just to say that I've got one. Two more down. I feel like the bears are being a little more consistent now. They've kind of picked up a bit. Was that meant to be a pun? Uh, was what meant to be a pun? I don't know. It definitely wasn't because I'm not even sure which uh, which you were referring to. How much money would mountain lions make? About the same as bears. Wouldn't be too big of a difference between them. Where's this other bear? Are they both over here? They might be. No. I swear to God, if it's floating. Okay, it's not floating. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. He's way, way over. Would I grind brown bear? Uh, maybe? It's, it's unlikely, though. I've already got diamonds of them. I've got a couple rares. Unless they got a great one, I probably won't grind too many uh, brown bears. Because I already have my dream trophy for brown bear. I've got a diamond spirit bear. Poor little guy's nervous. Nervous from all the gunshots. I would imagine retrieve birds and stuff, uh, Henry. Since it's a uh, Labrador retriever and the trailer showed it carrying a rabbit. Favorite super rare of all time? I would have to say probably my big rack albino red deer. That's probably my favorite. If I could only choose one. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I need to go talk to my wife real quickly.
dying. That's what I come back to. Christopher, you're a member. You should know better than to spam hide 10 times when you enter. <laughs> Excuse me. Holy crap. You should know better, dude. That's crazy. What's more enjoyable, black bear grinding or hunting New England mountains? Black bears, by a long shot. I'd rather shoot bears than, like, grind anything on New England. Nice, Vikings. That's awesome, man. Seven, five, eight. Eight, seven, eight. Wow, so many eights. <laughs> A lot of big males. All right, three of them down. Oof. I'm going to wait for it to get over here so that I can just claim it over here. Thank you, buddy, for uh, making it easy on me. That is much appreciated. If only it was three sevens that would make for a jackpot. We had three sevens uh, in the zone the other day. And they were the only ones in the zone, too. We, we thought we were going to get lucky, but no. Mythical Dusky. And another Mythical. What's my favorite map to hunt the Red Deer? Tiawaroa, 100%. Tiawaroa is my favorite grinding map in general. It's just really, really good. What's my real name? It's uh, Flinter. Yeah. No cap. For real, for real. I'm telling you. Definitely Flinter. Kill count is 748, uh, Chandra. 748 kills on the grind. Two sixes over here. Love to see it. Yeah, Purple Hurts, there's nothing wrong with hunting other species. Just make sure you don't accidentally delete one of your uh, grinding zones while you're hunting other stuff. His real name is Jaxy Beard. Ah, definitely. Definitely. 100%. Hey, yo, legendary. The legendary Barry. We got another nine, finally. Hopefully he'll, he'll end up making it. Hopefully he will make it. Same way I'd find zones for anything else, Alex. Just going to their drink time and searching everywhere on the map repeatedly for tens upon tens of hours, sometimes over 100 hours. All you really can do is just look. 
This takes a lot of time sometimes. Depending on the uh, species you're going for. Boom! That's a diamond. That's a diamond bear right there. Big one again. Another big boy diamond. Uh, yeah, purple. It'll still count towards your kills because it still respawns. As far as we know, though, based on, like, info the community has gathered and stuff that has been said by Jaxi on the EW streams, it doesn't seem like the ones that you leave on the ground can give you a great one as a respawn, but they do still respawn. Nobody really knows how that works, but it seems to be the way it is. Not gonna happen, RC, but how's it going? How you doing? Where's this other one? Wait, and there's another here. There's other tracks here too. There's a uh, small male tracks. We got a floater? No. Oh, there he is. He's right inside of the uh, the bushes over here. Went right past him, man. Ah, uh, yes, I do play on Steam. Officially 600 kills into your Fallow Grind, still trying to shoot down exteriors. Nice, dude, nice. Hopefully it's been going good for you. Boom. Nice, RC. Nice. That's awesome, dude. What is the best lake for bears? It's going to differ from person to person quite a bit. Top left, in fact, like the entire left half of the half of the map seems to be the best area for them. But your map may vary by quite a bit. Oh, there we go. A male here, finally. For the first time in a while, man. Another male is here. You know, if I could get, like, a level 3 in this zone, I would totally leave it because... I don't like checking this lake just for one kill that isn't even always here. If we can get one to show up here as a 4 or a 3 or a 2, I'd definitely leave it. Uh, check my channel. Beth, there's videos with that. Or you could use that link right there. Found no bears, sadly. Oh, you'll definitely find bears eventually. You gotta make sure you're uh, hunting at their drink time. And also, you gotta know that they are quite late to a lot of their zones. The only time that I find bears to be consistent is if there's no other bears in the area and you get the, uh, like your, your respawns have like nothing to compete with as far as I can tell. Like I get decently quick respawns, but before when I still had female bears at this lake, I didn't get them here very quickly. Like they always took forever to come into their zones. And I also noticed that if you set the time to 2230 instead of the beginning of their drink time, they show up to their zones faster. But yeah, check their drink time. Their drink time is 20 to, to 0. I was set to 22.30 for the best results.
Going to my cousin's house to fish for snook and wanted to make sure I I'm ready. Spine solo doe, baby crow. Yeah, RC, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Never fished for a snook myself. I don't think we really have them over here in Oregon. I don't think they're off the Oregon coast. No, Nate, it's not today. If you checked out the video that I posted earlier, I talk about the release date in that it is the 28th. The 28th of this month is when it's releasing. Like, not even December. November 28th, which is kind of shocking. I thought it was going to be a December update. Seven hundred and sixty two kills now. Pretty much just Florida and Texas. Yeah, I kind of figured it was just in that area. Like I knew it was in Florida. Didn't know about like much else for it. Nice chiefs. Love to see a dude. Tacos are great. Delicious. Fantastic. I'm assuming that that was supposed to say Atlantic Salmon, Ian. Am I right? I'm assuming that, that was an autocorrect and it was supposed to say Atlantic Salmon. We don't have Atlantic Salmon here in Oregon, no. As far as I know, we don't. Actually, I may have to look into that a little more. I don't think we do, though. I know we've got uh, chum salmon, we've got pink salmon, we have coho salmon, we have chinook salmon. Um, I might be missing one or two. We have kokanee, which they're a landlocked version of... I think they might be a landlocked Atlantic, right? What are kokanee a landlocked form of? And that is a level 9 right there. Love to see it. Level 9 bear. I know that kokanee are like the landlocked form, landlocked form of a different salmon species. I just can't remember which one. Oh yeah, there's tons of salmon here in Oregon. It's crazy. And man, they're fun. I've caught Chinook and Coho salmon and they're both like a ton of fun to fight. Boom! Diamond again. The diamond rate is picking up a little bit. Looking a little bit better. You think great one soon? Maybe. The diamond rate's picking up a little bit. You know what? We haven't gotten a while. A rare. I haven't had a rare in like 600-ish kills. Actually, not quite 600. It's been like 500 probably, but that's still a lot of kills to go without a rare. How many kills am I into the grind? 765. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I know I just like went downstairs a couple, like 10 minutes ago to talk to my wife, but I gotta hit up the restroom real quick.
And we're back. We shot one more over here, right? No, we got them all. We got them all. Tackle Tuesday is always 6 p.m. PST. Brought to the lakes. Like, they weren't... Uh... I could be wrong, though. Maybe we do have some sockeye. Let me, let me look. 